Well, good morning, Thompson Nights. Back to the same old thing today. It's gonna be a fun day. Fun, oh. I have got to cut that down. Woo, I'm winded. I gotta cut all of this out. There's a whole other tree over here. It's not very big, but hopefully this doesn't kill the blade. That's what I'm worried about, if it kills the blade or not. The blade that I got yesterday, the brand new blade that I got yesterday, gone. Gone. Destroyed. Because I was cutting stuff like this, and it was so far into the dirt, there's nothing I could do to get it out except for to cut through it. Every little nick into that dirt. I think I had a rock on one of them too, and I was like, no! Inevitable happened. Oh. I was splitting this ginormous piece of wood. Oh. And as it was going down, the pressure was building up. And what do you think happened? That's right. It popped the wood. This piece went clear over here and fell down. This one went over here, hit this, came back and whacked me right in the knee. And it hurts. So I'm gonna go and see if I can get some kind of an ace bandage on it. Man. I took my pants down to... <laughs> that sounds fun, right? Took my... I'm laughing because it's funny to me. You guys can laugh too. I find humor in everything. Took my pants down to see if it broke the skin or if it was swelling or anything. And it didn't look like it broke the skin. I wasn't bleeding, but it's very red. Here's my ball. My ball, what do you call that thing? It went right here. Let me tell you, when it hit, I was like, oh! Oh! Because it hurt, and it really hurts now. But I must keep going. I'm sitting down splitting wood anyway, so it's not like I'm using my knee to lift anything, so. Update on the knee. I got a brace around it. She gave me a couple of uh, ibuprofens or something. Look at the pile, it has grown significantly. That's the piece that shot off and got me in the knee. Stupid. Stupid. Then I have to cut these three, and then those over there, and that's it. A lot of time, but let's just get to it. Hello! My best friend Christina came over this morning. We had a huge breakfast, and then we got down to business. She helped with distracting the kids, but at the same time, she helped me reorganize and clean everything. I have been trying to go through Journey's room and Talon's room for a week now, and every single time I have to keep stopping to feed them and change diapers and, and you name it, it just gets you thrown off your mojo, I feel like. And we were able to just kind of tag team the kids and get a bunch of stuff done. I never picked up the camera because we were on a roll doing all of this. Tyler came back and he hurt his knee really bad. When he got home, I made him some food and I propped him some pillows and I got him all set up in bed and put some ice on his knee, I wrapped it and I was like, listen, I'm pro. Like I just had to do this with my knee so I know exactly what to do with your knee. Got him all set up in the bed and then we just talked and I started going through every single thing in our room. Every drawer and clothes and I'm just kind of purging at this point. I'm really just clearing out, minimizing, and making things simple on us. I got a couple things to do. I'm zoom zooming. Let's go. Look at this picture, okay? This is the perfect picture for every coffee lover out there. Because if there's an emergency and you run out of coffee, you just break the glass and there's coffee grounds in here. I have to get this. I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> if Tyler and I have a coffee emergency and we really need some, this is it. <laughs> So this shopping trip started off with just trying to get some pictures to hang up and it turned into a shopping trip for the baby. So when I get back to the car, I'm gonna show you guys what all I got, but it is time for me to go. I have to go get milk and food. <laughs> Look at my cart. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys.
guys what I got for the baby while I'm in the car still because I ended up getting stuff for the kids too that's going to be a present from the baby and I don't want them to see it. So I apologize for the not so great lighting. <laughs> this is kind of a little backstory. Tyler and I had decided when we got pregnant with our daughter that we really weren't going to buy very much. We still kept everything. We had a lot of stuff. Well, I've been collecting and getting everything together as you guys have seen in the last few vlogs and I was going to use a lot of Journey's blankets and other things for the baby. As I'm cleaning things out, I can see that Journey is like, oh, that's my blankie. That's my shirt. And she's not saying it in a way of like, oh, that's mine, but she's more so she acknowledges that it's hers. And I feel like having a new baby and bringing a new baby into the family, the experiences so far have been great, but now having the third one with two that already get all of my attention, I just am trying to pre-plan just in case for things that may possibly happen. I would hate to have a blanket for the baby and then have Journey like, that's my blankie, why are you giving it to the baby? Which in turn means that I have got to get a couple of new things. One of the number one things that you need when you have a new baby are burp cloths and swaddling cloths. And I just picked up these ones, they are so cute. Then I saw this blanket and you guys know you need blankets. You need quite a few for your baby. So far, I only have two for her that are brand new. So this is going to be the third one. And I really liked this because the other two blankets I have seem thick and a little bit bigger. This is smaller and more thin. So as the weather starts heating up, this will probably be a perfect blanket to put on her. But look, there's a cupcake and then it has hearts and it's very soft. I had this on my list and I almost bought them when I was at Target but you need dun 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 the baby mittens I don't know if you guys can tell or not because of the lighting but these are green with pink and white dots and then this one is pink and this one's pink also and it has little flowers on it that are pink and green I was really trying to avoid getting ones that were white because I know they stick them in their mouth and they just get them really dirty and so I wanted to get ones that were a color and they didn't have that at Target so this was perfect then I got two storage bins that are pink I have blue right now we actually have a little shelving unit that has three green baskets and I want that area to just be all of the kids toys and that is it I still needed to get one more so I just got a pack of two that are pink so now I'll have two blue two pink and then all the kids toys will be in here I pulled out a bunch of baby toys that our kids definitely don't play with anymore but we still have all those baby toys are gonna be going in these containers so I'm very excited about this because this was definitely neat <laughs> this was not on my list at all, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to get this. They are two super soft crib sheets for the baby's crib, and I love the colors. They're adorable. Definitely my kind of style. Like I said, we were trying to go with purple, but I have a feeling pink is going to be <laughs> in probably pink and purple. We have crib sheets, obviously, from Journey and from Talon, but we don't have any that are soft like this, and it's kind of cool. On the tag, it has the material on it and it's very very soft when they're newborns you try to not put them in their crib with a lot of blankets and stuff because it's not very safe but usually you feel like okay they're probably cold because they're so tiny and you cover them up well these sheets are just like a blanket they're really soft so as long as we keep her warm we could actually put her in here without a lot of blankets or anything so that's why I got these we don't have any of these I'm, I'm kind of shocked that we don't because we have a lot of other stuff I got two gifts for the kids I figured when my mom brings them to the hospital that they're probably going to be all over the place and I'm sure they're not gonna want to just sit there and then I wanted them to know okay this is your baby sister and she got you guys a gift because what kid does not like toys I got journey this which is 100% perfect it is a Barbie set and she's really into shoes right now dressing up her Barbies with their shoes and she loves to collect the little purses too so she has everything that she loves in this whole package so that I got for Talon it says that it's three plus so three years old and and above but I know Talon will love it so I got it anyways but it is a car and it's cool like it has this little dial on the top and you can change the dial see and it makes sounds and then when you push the main button the car takes off and it actually goes everywhere look at that 
He is definitely going to love this. I'm going to wrap Journey and Talon's gifts and I'm gonna put that in my hospital bag. I film what's in my hospital bag to show you guys it will just be those gifts wrapped. It's good that you're saying this because you can actually see the gifts unwrapped. <laughs> my really good friend Kelly, she got me this blanket and it is a fox. So now with this blanket, the blanket that my mom and dad got for us, which was the pink and silver and it says love on it, between all of the ones that we've gotten, she has three blankets that are brand new that are hers that our kids have never had. So when she has her little blanket on her, no one's going to be saying that's my blankie. <laughs> so I'm very excited about all of the things that we're getting and uh, since I got those few things, I actually feel very set and excited and ready for the baby. I my freaking husband is pregnant, okay? He called me and requested KFC and look at all this. Can we get all this? And then they had a huge mix up or mess up with the chicken or whatever. So they gave us like cookies and a ton of stuff to make up for it. Anyways, my pregnant husband needs me to bring him his food. So I gotta go. Okay. We're back. We're back. <laughs> this is tea life after dark. Uh, after the kids go to sleep. <laughs> or to bed for that sake. Yeah. Sleep is a different story. Here's the deal. After all of the comments of all the random names you guys threw at us, we still do not have a winner yet. <laughs> like seriously. Psych. Uh, really <laughs> just kidding. Ding, ding, just ding, joking. Ding. What there do we have is, for him, Johnny? There is a winner. We have a winner. The name of our daughter is going to be Jaspin Jade Thompson. Melody from Mom's Vlog 80, she did guess it and she, she had no idea. The fact that we are really good friends and everything, Melody wanted to <laughs> forfeit her prize. So it's going to the next person who guessed Jaspin Jade, which is, drum roll please. <laughs> Next winner of one of the three things we said. <laughs> Great guessing, Paula. That was correct. Definitely message us. You can contact us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Private messages and YouTube as well. All T Life Daily Vlogs. Yeah, on all social media. Yes. So message us, let us know what you want, and then we'll get in contact with you, and then we'll probably share that with everybody else a little later on. <laughs> we thought we would share with you guys the meaning behind the name. We wanted to come up with a name that was super unique that started with a J, just as we named Journey. All the girls are J's, boys are T's. That's we had a really hard time finding a J name that we liked, and one night we were talking about it, and I was like, man, it's too bad we're not having a boy because I love the name Jasper. And we kind of started talking about other things, and I was looking at names online, and I was like, man, Aspen is like the coolest name. And then all of a sudden, Tyler does this every time. How about Jasper? He said it just like that. He put the names together. I and was in like, this exact spot. So when he said Jaspin, I thought, wow, that does sound really unique. It's different and I like it. And you, you liked it too, huh? Of course I did. Journey, Talon, Jaspin. Jade was on the list the entire time and Tyler didn't really like Jade, especially as a first name because it wasn't unique enough. It wasn't different. We weren't really gonna go with it, but we had it on the list for a middle name. And then when we put it together and said Jaspin Jade, it just sounded like just Journey sound, Genie. Sound, Jaspin Jade, Journey Genie. And TNT. And it just, yeah, it sounded really good. If she does not like her first name, then she could always just go by Jade if she wanted to. That's what we went with, so she's Jasmine Jade. She'll never be able to get a magnet or a keychain anywhere when she goes on vacation nope. because Jasmine will not. Very rare, very rare. But that's rare. okay, because neither will Journey and probably not Talon either. <laughs> Maybe Talon, his name, People have his name, but it's not very common. We just screwed our kids over. They can't get keychains. They can't get keychains. I'm probably gonna they can't get magnets. I know. They can't even get hats and shirts and stuff that says those names. We're I'm like, gonna oh. have to personal order things for them. Uh, so at no. Christmas, they'll all get their magnets that say their name. <laughs> Paula Bago, once again, congratulations. Congratulations. On guessing pretty darn quickly, I would say. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it was a few minutes before after the video was posted. Yeah. Maybe eight or so. I can have to back and look, but congratulations. Yeah. And uh, to everybody else who was this far 
behind. Better luck next time. <laughs> there were a lot of guesses, there so thank lot. you to everybody who guessed and commented. Yes. And for everyone congratulating us on the 5,000 subscribers, that 5, was awesome. I mean, it's we have 5,000 subscribers because of you guys. You guys mm -hmm. subscribed and you guys did that. And you guys watch our vlogs and that makes us want to vlog even more. Yeah. So it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you very it's much. That, it's that little pick up, pick me up that you guys give us. Other news, my knee is doing okay. Still a little sore. I, I'll show you guys, just so you can see. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't look like much, but it hurts like a mother. So the piece of wood hit right here, the little red mark, yeah. It's, you guys were like, oh, what a wussy. I'm like, hey, <laughs> when you hit a joint that moves and I'm lifting wood and dragging stuff, oh yeah, it kind of hurts. So it got whacked there pretty good, and the swelling has gone down. Oh, I can't even bend my leg straight. Oh, but it's doing a lot better. Hopefully I wake up and won't be so sore. Is that it? I think that's it. We just wanted to announce the winner. We wanted to thank everybody. We're getting so close to having this baby. I mean, it, it could be any time. It could be like right now. I went in, they told me that I was measuring a week and a half right now. early, which is right now. So oh, right, right, you're right now? Right now, where are right now? Right now, we <laughs> gotta go, we gotta go. That be, that Thursday, I'm going to be 39 weeks pregnant, which is in two days. That's so. Thursday, Thursday. Can you remember Thursday, Thursday, Thursday? Just think of this. Monday, one day. Tuesday, two day. Wednesday, when, when, when? Thursday. <laughs> that was pretty good, huh? I'm in a twilight zone. Uh, you guys, have a wonderful night. <laughs> Please remember to subscribe. This is my energy level in a neutral state. I know, it's very rare. I'll I'm never so, see them like I'm this. I'm so worn down. I'm just so exhausted. Please remember to subscribe. Thumbsies, upsies. Don't forget to comment, and we will see you. And we see you. Oh, that's my eye. Oh. oh.